Welcome to Exit Chopper Block Chop Chop. Fucking today is Sunday, August 27th. I didn't do much recording Friday. I had to help a friend. So I didn't get much done then. And then uh, Saturday was the old lady's birthday. She turned 40. So we just kind of spent time together and hung out and really didn't do a whole lot of anything, really. Try to get shit caught up, I guess. Uh, do a shout out to all the fucking natural people, Chopper Nation, Bagger Nation, Do Wheel Nation, Trike Nation, Slickhead Custom Nation, Sketchy Hippie Cake Nation, Naraho, or Navajo Nation. I seen you guys just had your memorial run. Fucking, that was awesome. That was a really cool little video. You guys, whoever did it, fucking put out. I like that. That was cool. Slut Nation. Anyway, I'm been fucking trying to get some shit cleaned up and around here today. Give you a fucking idea what it looks like outside today. Pretty nice day, really. No wind. Been raining off and on. All day. Little asshole dug a hole right there again. Yeah, grand appearance of Mr. Pans, man. I'm such a cool looking guy. Yes, him is. Anyway, Slick, you want to know why my channel probably doesn't get very, very far with all the subscribers and shit? It's because I talk too much shit about corporate shit. I don't fucking, I don't care. They're fucking assholes and they know it. Do you know, in the past two weeks, I've had about, I'd say 20 to 25 people bring me their Vance and Hines pipes because the baffles fucking rattle, and some of them are not even a year old, and they claim that their warranty is only for a year. You're telling me you're going to make people spend five, six hundred dollars for a set of fucking mufflers and the warranty's only good for a year and your quality control shit ain't fucking any better than that? If I was there by, I quit buying fucking Bantz and Hines, let them go fuck off. They can't get their shit together. Reinhardt's, s and there's a lot of fucking companies out there that make fucking Bantz and Hines, you guys got a monopoly on shit and you fucking think you're cool. Well, there was a time where I thought you guys were cool too, but fuck, really? 2025, and we're talking new bikes from fucking 2020 was the one yesterday that I was working on. Fixing the fucking baffle. My other brother's fucking 2017. It's baffles all fucked up. I could go on and on and on. Anyway, enough of that. I'm a, that was my Bitch session. But anyway, Slick, that's the reason why I don't have because I talk shit. Talk shit about Harley. They're probably the ones that actually did it. Had me shadow banned. So easy for them to do because they got the money. But that's alright. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I do, but I don't. I like meeting the new subscribers. That's way cool. But anyway. Enough of that shit. Vance and Hines, I can't believe it. I thought you guys were a reputable fucking company. In fact, I had a set of Vance and Hines on that. When I went to Sturgis last fucking time, which was two years ago, me and the old lady went. Believe it or not, the pipe broke off here and broke off here. The old lady fucking road with this on her lap all the way home from fucking 
about fucking Torrington, Wyoming to Laramie. It was a fucking fun ride. In the rain. No exhaust. I don't know, man. Fucking companies, they need to start fucking uh, getting their shit together, man. Fuck, we're America. Well, maybe we're America. I think fucking China fucking bought Biden. Probably another reason why. See, this is another reason why it's <laughs> slick head, because I, I don't keep my mouth shut, man. Fuck them. That's why I made my channel so it's not kid friendly. It's not that I don't like kids. I love kids. It's just uh, my mouth my attitude they don't need to see that shit maybe they do though they'll bring back America if we quit buying their shit they'll have no choice but to fucking step up maybe find you a fucking uh, machinist or some have him make you some shit get away from this fucking corporate fucking credit card bullshit Anyway, enough of that fucking rant. Sorry, apologize. My bad. Outside that, it's been a pretty cool day. Oh, fucking come back in a little bit, man. Oh yeah, that don't help either probably, huh? Oh well, I'm just me. I can't help it, I'm just me. I see it how I fucking, or I call it how I see it. That's why fucking, uh, you won't catch me with a fucking newer bike than fucking 2001. Because that's what my bagger is, 2001. Everything else is going to be old school. Shout out to Iron, fucking Ironhead Sally and her old man. Fucking putting them bikes together and riding them. Doing shit gets better, man. I got some shit going on, so that's why I haven't really tried to produce no riding videos. Fuck after the bike got wiped out, fucking stolen. Kind of bikeless right now, anyway. The shovel head's got me pulling my hair out, but I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna figure it out today if it kills me. So, hopefully, maybe this afternoon or by the end of this video, we'll get to see a fucking ride. If not, You'll be, or I'll be back with some more bullshit of some sort. Don't know what, but we'll do something. Enjoy! So yeah, everybody always asks me what kind of oil I use and stuff. So my buddy's a, a dealer for a fucking hard drive fucking B-Twin. So this is the fucking oil that we use. I got full synthetic, I got primary, I got 60 weight, and I got transmission fluid. It's 8090. 
that's what I run in all my customers bikes and everything um, but what I actually run in my bike in all my holes is Lucas on my bagger and the reason I run Lucas on my bagger is because there's always an O'Reilly's in every damn town and it all carry fucking Lucas motorcycle oil and filters and fucking plugs so when I'm out on the road I like to fucking keep Lucas in this bike that way if something happens I can just fucking get to an O'Reilly's and fucking replace it out I've had Lucas in that bike for 13 years now and I've never had a problem it always seems to run way cooler than everybody else's bikes um, but when I started using this hard drive, everybody started telling me how much cooler their bikes and trannies been running. Them transmissions, they get hot, they'll fucking pump that fucking oil out the breather tube. And that ain't good. I fucking about lost the transmission fucking up in Sturgis. Because I didn't have the right fucking oil in it. After that, when I went to Lucas, I've never had a problem since. So, anyway, that's my two cents on fucking oils and filters. Enjoy! Hey, uh, I'm back. This extra chop a block job. Still fucking Sunday, August 27th. Um, we're getting ready to fire up the shovel head here in a little bit. I just wanted to let you guys know for all you that are getting your first fucking shovel heads or your first iron heads, when you go to fucking first start them, just put two quarts of oil in the thing and then get it fired up. Because you don't know how much oil is in the bottom of that crank. And it's going to recirculate. Oh, Ricky Ticky Talk, he fucking put three quarts in it and fired it up. And about 20 seconds later, it blew the fucking lid off the fucking oil bag and fucking shot oil everywhere. And I mean everywhere, too. He had a mess to clean up for about two weeks. So, just to fucking stop that from happening to you, just make sure, just put a couple quarts in, get it running. Once you get it running, then you can check your oil levels. Okay? Anyway, enjoy. Mr. Panhead. What you doing, Mr. Panhead? That's what I thought. This ought to be fun. All right. Okay. Excuse me, pants. Move pants. Oh, if you can put your hand right here, I'll work the gas. Move pants. I don't know if I got it in me. I've run it off of like fucking an hour of sleep per night the okay. past couple of nights because of this tooth. But just being honest with you. Okay, I'll be back.
It's Monday, August 28th. Baby Harley's nine months old today. It's a beautiful day, a little cloudy, a little windy. In the clip before this when you see me trying to kick the fucking shovel. And it almost started and then I gave up because I was wore out. Four kicks and I'm about done. You know, it's not that I'm just a puss, because I am kind of just a puss, but that's beside the point. But, a lot of people don't realize, this isn't a 74. The old 74s, man, them fuckers kick pretty easy. Hell, I could kick one, no problem with them, but this is a 97-inch stroker. The reason you can tell it's a stroker is because it's got the stroker fucking nuts on it. I don't know if anybody's ever fucking explained that shit or not, but just the 74s have a little nuts down here like this. And if it's been stroked, then they gotta move them up. Everything's gotta be stretched out because the heads are coming apart more as you're getting bigger. So, anyway, it almost started and then I had to give up. So, hopefully, I'll get it today. Say hi. Anyway, that's where we're at. I'm gonna get fucking Dean for fucking music, so enjoy. Get the rope, pull, grab it, and then. I'll let you get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you just wanna fight me, huh? 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 Oh, you think you're tough all of a sudden? You think you're tough? You think you're tough? You ain't tough. You ain't tough. You ain't tougher than me. Oh. Here. Here, get the rope. Hey. Get the rope. He's like, I'm just gonna get hurt. Ha. Who's boss, huh? Who's the boss? Yeah, it's right. Here, you wanna see how strong he is? Hey, get the rope, get the rope, get the rope, pull, 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 get the rope, get the rope, up, get the rope, get it, pull, pull, good boy, pull, 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 good boy, pull, 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 good boy, pull, 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 pull him back, pull, pull. At least now you know you have help. If a truck dies. Hey. Get him rope. Get that rope. Get that rope. Here. Pull. 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 Get him. Pull. Get him, Pan Ann. Pull. Get him. Pull. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Pull. Good boy. Pull. Good boy. Pull. 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 He wants Good. to get you down in the dirt. Pull. Pull. That's what he was trying to do to me. Pull. 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 And then do this once in a while too. Pull. 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 Oh no, give me that rope. Give me that rope. You give me that rope. You have to let him win. Who left that window down in my Escort. Uh, kid did. Jerry. Keep fucking dog in there. Oh. When he walks out, because he'll fucking come out the thing. Oh. Anyway, that's where we're at today. Uh, I ain't trying to get down in the dirt with you, bud. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You win. You Enough. Win. You win. You Enough. Win. You got me. You got me, good boy. You got me. You got me. You got me already.
you guys don't know what he's doing, I think he's looking for Bubba. The kid and Bubba's not here. So yeah, he's climbing up in the car, trying to do whatever he can to try to find Bubba. What a little ornery butt. I'm telling you, he is a fucking ornery butt. Okay, well, I'm going to try a couple times here and see. Maybe I can get it, maybe I can't. Okay, I'm burp. <laughs> Flame with the dog. Oh, and I think I flooded it too. Oh. After playing with the dog for a little bit and then trying to do that a couple times. Holy mackerel. That some bitch is a fucking stroker, I'll tell you. Enjoy. So slick, he asked me what this building is. A little while back, I think. A few videos back, he asked me. So I figured I'd walk over here and I'll show you guys. Back in my neighborhood. It's crazy. It's beautiful. What my backyard looks like pretty much, Lee. Anyway, we are uh, slick. This was the old uh, railroad depot. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Big Boy Train. He used to park back here all the time. I'll walk up a little closer here in a minute. I'm gonna show you guys this fucking end of the street thing. called Rotman's Parking Plaza now, dedicated in 2006. Union Pacific Engineers. We have another train down here. Old snowblower train. Okay, you guys can pause this and read this if you want. It's pretty cool.
can reserve the shelter. It's pretty cool. Little squirrel. Shit, this is probably the most exercise I've had all summer, really. My house has been fucking working. Anyway, this is some kind of cool shit. Tells you about all the fucking different pollinating shit around here, I guess. Anyway, I always like this train. Yo, caboose. Old bunk car, Lawrence Larry Ostrich. Anyway, this one kind of for you there, Slick. You were asking me about this shit, so. I don't know if you guys are all interested in trains or not. Anyway, they got little lights and shit that shines on it at night. More pigeons flying around. This is pigeon galore around here, I think. Anyway, check this out. That's how they pull out the snow off the tracks back in the day. A little park bench, with people's fucking names on it. Used to be a light pole right there, if I remember right. But anyway, this is what this fucking fucking snow out here fucking gets pretty fucking deep and big. So when they're plowing it off, pretty wild looking, huh? Always amazed me how these fucking things work. Throw a little gravel down there too to help them. Pretty amazing. This was number 535 of the snowblowers group. How big them fucking wheels are, huh? Fucking taller than I am. It's like there's a little wood still made in there, huh? Wood and steel, that's what made it. Union Pacific. And this is what you would see when you fucking come pulling in on the passenger trains. Welcome to Laramie. That's all lit up at night. Wyoming Colorado Railroad employees only, not open to the public. I think that's where they got paid. Bought their little grocery shit or whatever. Local service, Marysville, Kansas.
I had a good friend that was a conductor. He rode in the caboose all the time. If you guys ever remind me, I'll tell you a little story about that fucking shed up there. A little bit of housing. You raise that up, it's a bunk. They could go to sleep up there. I think my homeboys, back in the fucking late 70s, early 80s, you can look it up, it's fucking... I think they got stoned, smoked a joint, left that thing up, fucking took out the bridge between fucking Cheyenne and Laramie and on the main interstate. I think that bridge was tore down, or uh, that highway was shut down for like close to a year. And my homeboy, he got laid off for a year while they were fixing it with pay. Can you believe that shit? Got laid off with pay. That's working for unions, man. He took care of their people. Anyway, this is backside of that building. Pretty much in there, just some scabbling and shit from where they're fucking remodeling it. Anyway, when you got off the train, the passenger trains pulled up here and you got off the train. This is where you went. Bought your ticket, your food, whatever you had to do. Look at that old owl. You've been there a while, I think, huh? Amtrak Rail Passenger Station. I don't know if you can really see in there or not. Kind of glaring. Definitely different. No trespassing. Anyway, here was the gates that they came through when they would get off their trains. Had their layover or whatever you want to call it. They got this side all fucking shut up to where no one can really see it. There's a little fucking thing right there if you guys want to pause it and read it. They say they're on Facebook. I don't know. I've never looked. Never looked for them. Maybe we will. Anyway, there's some cool shit. Use that to get up and off the fucking train. Here's a little fucking cart. We used to have one of these in my backyard. And then of course the old horse thing. Pretty cool. These doors were usually open. It's just a, a museum now. You got trains and all kinds of stuff in there you can buy. Anyway, maybe next time these guys are open, I'll try to come down here. A little train car, kid trains, bridges. Pretty cool. can kind of see what the old depot looked like inside. That was the stationary. Okay. Slick. There you go for that. I was going to get this video out last night, but... And I heard some shit. Heard some shit. I don't know if you guys ever watched Scooter Tramp Scotty. He lives life on the road. On his bike. I'm sure you guys know. Have at least heard of him before. Anyway, his channel was taken down. 
and the reason I fucking uh I'm even saying anything about this really is because up in Sturgis at Camp 5 that's where we all stay I've never actually personally met Scotty but we've all stayed at the same camp before so we definitely I know who he is and uh he just talks plain truth well I guess YouTube don't like his fucking plain truth talking so they removed his video or his channel completely which is pretty sorry ass of them but slick that's the reason why my channel don't never take off because I've been a shadow band you guys don't know what that shit is you'll find out if you ever talk anything about your choppers or whatever besides your choppers they don't like what you're saying you won't go very far I promise you oh look at we've got mama and baby for the channel today oh look at that look at that yeah, the reason I put pans upstairs, he wasn't listening. He ah. didn't want to listen, so I said, That's "Okay, go upstairs." So bad. Yeah. No. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Anyway, yeah, Pan's in trouble. He got put upstairs today because he doesn't want to listen. Oh. He's got geez. the terrible two stage going on. He's freaking tearing shit up. He's pissed. Huh? And look, I can put, I can put my. My cell phone and my puff bars in here. And handy. See? And I can get to them without. Whoa, hey there, lady. Always gotta test the boundaries. Um, you know, <laughs> little Houdini here. Tried to freaking hang herself out her bouncer. It was funny. Hmm. She was stuck hanging out over it. Stuck by her legs and the belt and the straps. Because she was strapped in. She doesn't like being strapped in, that's for sure. Unless she's in the jumper and only for a little while. Do I get a smile? <gasps> Thank you. Walker. You gave YouTube the smile. It's right over there. Well, well I'll just cut the... Anyway, I'm back now. How's everybody doing? Chopper World, Chopper Nation, Two Wheel Nation, Bagger Nation, Trike Nation, Navajo Nation, Slut Nation. Slickhead Nation. Sketchy Hippie Nation. Iron Sally Nation. Anyway, this is just a kind of a touch reback. Yeah, Scooter Tramp Scotty's channel's fucking was taken down. And uh, that's the reason why I don't have that many subscribers because I just talk too much shit and tell the truth. Or what I feel is the truth anyway. Sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm not. Most of the time I'm not. That's why my last name's right. Never wrong. But uh, yeah, if they can uh, take his channel down. It's just a matter of time before they take ours down too, guys. Um, fucking crazy ass shit. I'm not going to get any political bullshit because it's not a political channel. But, the bottom line is, if they take away his fucking channel, who's to say that they're not going to start taking away our fucking hit, our chopper channels? You know? Because pretty soon it's not going to meet in their fucking guidelines. We're going to say and do one thing wrong and fucking they're going to be fucking shutting our shit down too, so... Are shadow banning us like that I am I know I have been but not just from this channel it's from my other fucking pages I talk too much truth about shit I just say how it is this fucking world is going to fucking hell 
you know? I don't want to get into all the fucking bullshit that I know or whatever, but it's crazy. So, anyway, I'm going to end that on that. So think about that. If you guys can, fucking give old Screw Trump's shoddy, Scotty a fucking shout out. Fucking help save his channel. Maybe they'll bring it back. But it doesn't look like it's going to come back at all. But that's just because he talks the truth. So, anyway. On my next note is I wanted to, uh, I'm going to try to post these pictures from Left Hand Motors. Oh my God. He's been sending me pictures of the fucking bike parts that he fixed. It looks like he went and picked them up off the fucking shelf of some fucking Harley shop and fucking. So anyway, I'm going to try to get these fucking uh, pictures up so you guys can kind of see where we're going at with that. I got some crazy noise going on over there. I sounds like fucking panheads into something. What do you? What's he into? Yeah, it's a little dark over here today. What's he got? You can't be taking your bones outside. You won't have nothing inside to play with. Well. Takes all his toys outside and then Bubba gets them and hides them and tears them up and then he gets mad because he ain't got nothing upstairs to play with. That crazy ass little mutt. He's a nut. Look, he's trying to chew on a fucking chair. Get the flies. Get them flies. You get them flies. He don't like flies at all. That's for sure, he don't like him flies. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, Left Hand Motors, man, if you guys can check out his channel, hopefully he gets a good video out on this, because it looks fucking amazing. It really does look amazing. I couldn't believe it, so. Anyway, I'm gonna try to post some pictures when I get done with this, and uh, at the end of this here, so you guys can kind of check them out. So, enjoy, remember, Rubber side down, sunny side up. I'm going to go and get this video out now. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Enjoy. Peace.